Sometimes I feel like every day is the same. So I decided to let strangers control my life so I can have new experiences like... Hey, you should kiss a stranger! Oh. Josh, don't get hurt. Josh, don't get hurt. Holy shit! Someone's having a party. Crash the party! There's no way! Stop on the playthrough screen. God damn it. We're filming a documentary where we let strangers control our life for a day. What's something that we should go do right now that's really crazy? Any ideas? So I'm security for the building here. Oh, okay. If you guys want to go up into the garage for a little bit, I'll walk with you. The garage? Like this one? You gotta stay with me. It's not safe. So this guy's name is Al, and he's apparently security for this abandoned building that I've always wanted to explore. And it's interesting because it's literally in the middle of downtown. Uh, but it's, you know, it's falling apart. You really shouldn't go up there at all. What if he's not security and he's just like, he's trying to like, lead us into the building? We're learning new life experiences, so we just gotta, okay. Okay, okay. The most recent hole has been cut in my fence. You are security of the building? Yeah, I promise, thanks. So far, letting strangers control my life is extremely scary. But my friend Colin is the type of guy to just... Let's do it. He doesn't care. That was until Al led us into a massive, dark stairwell. And at this point, we can tell that people live in this building. This is it's, it's, it's safe right now, guys. You guys are fine. It's, it's, I mean, it's okay. Don't come back. I put 911 into my phone because I genuinely do not know where this guy is taking us. This is my everyday. We got lots of floors, guys. You want to make it to the roof? But I kept going because I have to listen to strangers today. But honestly, it got scarier and scarier because we were farther away from any escape route in case something would happen. But after like eight floors, we finally made it to the top. Holy crap. Not only was the view insane, but we realized that Al was not here to kill us. He just gets lonely on the job. <laughs> what do you think about him wearing slides up here? Slides? I mean, you're down in the city to begin with. What are you doing in slides, bro? Come on, <laughs> cover the toes. Bro, dude. Wow. I was thoroughly out of my comfort zone there for a minute, following a random dude into a random building. I was scared. Please advise your viewers not to come. We enjoyed the amazing view for a while. Look up here! Oh, never mind, don't. Al said, don't draw attention. I'm sorry, Al. And we talked to Al about his job and how he has to walk through this building once per day, even though it's not safe at all. Yeah. These metal poles are the only thing holding this garage up, he said. Dude, good to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you so much. And we headed back down to the street level. It's like an abandoned town, bro. Quite the experience. Exactly. Bye, Al. What did we just do? What did we just do? We're only an hour in. We, now we're really hungry, and I got a pee kind of. So let's ask somebody like, where should we where should we go to eat? I wouldn't mind Wendy's. I'm telling you, I love Wendy's fofo fo. High five. Yeah, I'm Brian Westbrook. I'm Josh. Right now, you're in control of our life. Okay. Great. Right. So there's a great place. What is the Scottish Scottish Arms? It's okay. just west of here. Enjoy your lunch. Thank you Thanks. so much. Let's go. Where's the? I just paid for an hour of parking. All right, we got. We're on to the next place. So much time left. It's closed. We should ask someone else. No, we have to find the same guy. The restaurant's closed. Is it really? It That's opens terrible. At, it opens at five, but we have to eat lunch. Do you have any other ideas on where we can go? Well, have you ever been to Fuzzy's Tacos? Let's go, run, run, run! Oh my God! Go to Fuzzy's. This has to be five star restaurant for sure. All right, so he said to get grilled tacos and tempura tacos. They have this hot sauce, it says butt burning. <clears throat> that was phenomenal. My eyes were open to this unique food, all because of Brian. But there's still eight hours left in our day, and we have to find the next thing that we're gonna do. Okay. We can't really leave until a stranger gives us something to do, but the problem is that there's no strangers out here. Oh, here's a person. Excuse me? Excuse me? Hello? Hello? I have a question. We're filming a video where we let strangers control our day. You're tired. Do you have any ideas? I said I think you should kiss a stranger. Oh. All right, have a great day. Oh, man. This is gonna be, this is gonna be rough, dude. I ain't never done anything like this. How does he even, like, approach someone like that? Oh, hey, can I kiss you? Man, you gotta find an alternative or something. Can we hug a stranger? All right, so I'm not kissing a stranger. I'm gonna be hugging a random person, but that is uncomfortable enough. But so far, we've made this day more memorable than any day I've had in the past couple of months. And it's only been two hours. We're at St. Louis University, um, and I have to convince somebody to hug me. This is gonna be really awkward. I'm not, I'm not hugging no one. Welcome to St. Louis. We searched and searched for new strangers until we ran into a guy named Tim who wants us to ride his skateboard in the middle of the busy road. But first, of course... I have to hug a stranger before I do the next thing. You feel me? Right now? Like, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Come here, man. All right, come here. You want a hug? <laughs> You want to ride the skateboard? Come on. All right. 
See you, man. So that's over. But the next thing to do is ride Tim's skateboard. So I'm daring you to do the street. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Just skate and destroy. Just skate and destroy. Hell yeah, boys! Woo! Yeah, boys! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See ya, man. Go to the pitch over by the stadium. There's super cool people. The pitch, soccer bar. Got you. We're not even halfway done. And our day has already been like the, the most eventful day I've had in so long. Excuse me. Huh? Where's all the parties? Over there. Thank you. It's over there. We gotta go over there. We uh. We're here at the party and it's all 30 year olds. The goal is simple, get another stranger to dare us to do something. And we immediately found a guy named Trent who has a table promoting his store and his suggestion was pretty unique. One large of these. No way, free shirts? Yeah. And then you guys give them to a stranger. They have to do something nice for a stranger as well. They have to pay it forward. Yo, let's go, that's sick. And I met my new friend named Jeremy. How can we pay it forward to a stranger? Rob someone a beer over there. Buy somebody a beer? Yeah. Let's go, let's go. He's gonna buy somebody a beer. Let's go. This guy right here, he gets a free beer. I pay for it, man. Let's go. What a guy, bro. So Jeremy got a free shirt and this guy got a free beer. So now we have to find the second free shirt person. Excuse me, sir. You want a free t-shirt? You sure? All right. How is it whenever I try to give away stuff, it never works? T-shirt for free. It's all you. It's got your name written on it. <laughs> Damn, I'm telling you, man, I can't do it. Hey, man, I got a free t-shirt for you right here. It's got your name written all over it. Hey, I'll take it. Nice oh, to meet man. you. All right, it's cool to meet you, Zach. All right, Zach, I got a free t-shirt for you right here. Give Bye. this to the kid. Okay. There you go. Okay, okay. Let's go. free t-shirt, free, free t-shirt. Yes, sir. He said, yeah, let me have that. So that brightened my day a lot, but that's when we ran into this amazing group of people. Wait, okay. did tell you to do something? Yes. Okay. You guys should go ride the Ferris wheel. Ride the yes. Ferris wheel. Yes. Let's go! So tired, but we gotta keep going, man. We have been running around for half the day, so this break was well needed. I didn't think that listening to strangers was gonna bring me to a place like this. No! But honestly, I have needed it. A time and a place where I don't have to worry about anything. In the last couple of months, I've rarely had time to just sit there and think and be present in the moment. And this allowed me to do that. Believe it or not, the whole strangers controlling my life thing is actually making me feel a lot better. But the day is only halfway over, so we have to find the next stranger. I have a question. I'm filming a YouTube video. Would you want to be a part of it? Yeah, sure. I'm asking you, how can you control my life today? What's like a dare of something crazy that we can do? Dare you do a flip, front flip. Are you dare me to do a front flip? Yeah. I'd like you. All right. Flip. All right. I got to do a front flip. Let's go. Yeah. This one's for Matt and Bobby. We can downsize to a cartwheel if you need it. We'd, we'd accept a cartwheel. Although I was scared to do the front flip, I would never do a cartwheel and cheat. I'm not a cheater. I promise. Josh, don't do it. You're scared of me. I don't want you to get hurt. You're somebody's kid. I just had leg day the other day, but you know what? That was a dub. That was right. a W. And on to the next challenge. What's a dare that we have to do right now? That guy over there? Yeah. Give him a high five before he gets to the civil bus. Oh. Okay, go oh gotcha. Oh god. Sir, can I get a high five real quick? Yeah. Let's go. Thank you so much. You're the man. Thank you. Would you have a dare for us to do right now? Shock on the Red Bull right now. Ooh. Do you want with me? Oh, I don't know. I probably, oh, I probably You can't take it on. It's only eight ounces. Oh. <laughs> Let's go! Dude, the, everybody's staring at us. Excuse me, would you guys like to be in a YouTube video today? No? No? You can't? Okay. No? Okay, that's okay. Have a good one. Yeah, sure. Do you have any ideas? Um, Y'all are joining the parade with the supporters. I have been living in St. Louis for 19 years and I didn't even know that this existed. I am so glad that I let people tell me what to do. Yeah, this is dope! Yeah, this is yeah, dope, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so tired. It has been almost eight hours since we started, but we're gonna keep going until the end of the night. And at the end of the video, we got dared to do something that I can't even believe we tried. And then we met this amazing guy who sent us to... Our ground. Go to the arch ground? Can't miss the arch. And even though we were already in downtown right by the arch, we had to listen to the stranger and finally saw the arch once again. But when we got there, we met the next stranger who was there for a completely different reason. And she was more than happy to share her story with Colin and I and all of you guys. Kelly. Kelly. Layla. Layla. Lauren, what do you guys want us to do? You control our life right now. What about paying homage to my nephew Darius who was just recently killed? I'm sorry for your loss. Thank she, you. I'm Thank sorry. You. What can we do for you? Pray. 
Pray. Pray for right his now. mother, pray for his sister and his okay. family and everyone. Let's do that right Let's now. Pray Let's pray right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll just put this down. Dear Heavenly Father, Colin led the prayer in the name of Darius, and we talked with Kelly and her family for like 20 minutes. And the whole story just opened my eyes to how life is finite. Yet loving the people around you and making the most out of the time that you have while you're still here is the best thing you can possibly do. Had Kelly not shared her story with us, we wouldn't have cherished this day as much as we do now. Because having a day in the first place is something to be grateful for. All right, it's getting so late. I'm so tired. I actually could go to sleep right now, but it's not over. We have to go get a stranger to give us something crazy to do. Yeah, basically. We're walking around here and we see all kinds of stuff going on. We're yeah. like, how do you get to whatever's happening up there? Right. right? There's a, a party right there. I'm like, what's happening in there? How in the heck do you get there? Huh? Someone's having a party. Crash their party. Just show up. Oh, it's so tall. Uh, There's no way we're getting up there. There's no Look, way. Let's just walk into the hotel, get on the elevator, and go. When we walk in, we gotta be nonchalant. We're here to like spread positivity. We're just making a video about like spreading positivity. All right, put the cameras down. Right. Let's put the cameras down for Thank you. We gotta squeeze in, bro. Yeah. Sorry. Dude, there's no restaurant. We gotta go higher. Oh my god. The hotel I just showed, we are at the top. Can we go down the lobby? We we can't. We can't get up. We can't go down or up because we need a room key to press the buttons. We're stuck on the 21st floor. I mean, there's stairs, right? Do we have to walk down the stairs? That's it, that's it, that's it. The question is, do we go to the top, or do we go to play the safe route and go back down? Remember what that guy said? He said go to the top. Oh, damn it. Roof access? Dude, we're gonna get in trouble, bro. We have cameras and shit, we're gonna get in trouble. Oh no. No, that's staff, that's all staff. You can't come up this oh, way. You can't come up this way? No. Okay. You can't come up this way. You got to go downstairs. That's okay. To the, lo to the uh, lobby and security here let you up. No problem. Thank you. You guys can go out there and take the elevator down if you want. Just go out to 24. Oh, okay. You have to take the steps all the way. Then, I mean... We're going to have to put our cameras away, bro. We're stuck back at the elevator because we got it at floor three because it kept going to the basement. We have to get somebody to swipe their card in so we can leave. Oh my gosh. That was nerve wracking. We got stuck. We literally got stuck in there and the dude was onto us. And as we got into the car, we met a guy who was willing to give us a place to eat and he said, Canes. I almost didn't film this video today. I was actually like scared. It was so worth it because we did so much stuff. Like I'm gonna remember this day for my whole life. It's crazy to think that people don't do this stuff in their whole entire life. That's it, I'm going home.